Hi, my name is Ashley Rice and welcome to my YouTube channel. Okay guys, I'm going to review another of my Ving Cuts items today and this one was requested at the end of my Ving Cuts unboxing up in the poll, someone selected this item. So I am so excited to share it with you. It is going to be the Love Grown Chocolate Comet Krispies. Fly through the Milky Way with a cosmic chocolate cereal. I think this is like already, this is like perfect for children, but also I'm like secretly a child at heart. I think we all are, but it is gluten-free. There are only seven grams of sugar is navy and lentil and garbanzo beans are in this i believe is what that's telling me yeah so it seems like this is mostly a bean blend however it is made in love in a facility that also processes milk soy wheat and tree nuts so if you're highly allergic to any of those just be cautious love grown inspired by love powered by nutrition everything we do is inspired by love our desire is to create super delicious foods powered by nutrition that even the pickiest kids will love our power blend of navy, lentil, and garbanzo beans is revolutionizing breakfast. With a delicious chocolatey taste and so much crunch, Cosmic Krispies are an out of this world way to power your day. Very fun. Some nutrition information. One serving size is one of these containers. Calories are 100. Total carbs is 19 grams, which is 6% of your daily value. Dietary fiber is three grams. Sugars is seven grams. Protein is three grams. You're getting 2% of your daily vitamin A, 2% of calcium, 6% of iron. So right on their website, it says, we believe in making great tasting foods with clean and simple ingredients. We believe that healthy foods should be available to as many people as possible. Our goals go far beyond one product line in one category. We are here to change the way people think about food, eat food, and ultimately buy food. Love Grown is inspired by love and powered by nutrition and on a mission to spread love through food. Very cool. Yeah, let me see how much a box of this cereal would be. I'm just curious now. So it looks like you can get cereal boxes or you can get the cereal cups that you're seeing right here. So if you go on Vitacost, uh, which is one of the places they sell through, you can also look at Star Locator to see if it's located near you. But on there, the retail price is $5.89 for a box, which is 9.5 ounces of cereal. But right now it's $4.14 on Vitacost. I don't have an account there, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. But more importantly, you guys, I'm sure just as I am curious, you are as well as to how this tastes. So we're going to try it out. Ooh, it smells really yummy. It smells really good. You guys, I didn't grab a spoon or anything. <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back with a spoon and my milk. Uh, so this is kind of what it looks like. They seem like they will be really crispy, which is really, really nice. I mean, it has a strong chocolatey smell. I would not say your normal like milk chocolate smell. And the milk that I'm gonna use today is Milkadamia. This is just something me and my husband recently discovered and we've kind of like fallen head over heels with the company and the non-dairy milk. So that's what I'm gonna be using today. My husband, uh, who isn't vegan by the way, but he, he eats a lot of stuff with me that is uh, plant-based or vegan. This is like his favorite non-dairy milk we've ever had. He says it tastes the most similar to regular milk. So if you're looking to try something, Milkadamia might be it. So here we are. Da -da -da. You guys, I am so excited to try all this. And yes, I am the person who dunks all of my cereal in the milk before I eat it. That's a must. Here we go. Mm -hmm. They are really crispy, which is really nice. I like crispy cereal. It has more of a dark chocolate flavor, not a milk chocolate, just so you know. But it's not bitter. But it is a strong dark chocolate. Like, you can tell it's dark chocolate. You can tell it's there. But it's not bitter at all. It's like a sweet dark chocolate. You're not tasting any of the beans that were mentioned in there. Like, you don't get any of that flavor. And I think it's because the dark chocolate is such a strong, like, bam flavor. The more you eat it, the more you, like, get used to the flavor and uh, really start to enjoy it. My fear with children having this is I don't know a lot of kids who like dark chocolate. Like they like the extremely sweet milk chocolate. It looks like they just used cocoa. But like the thing is as you're eating it, you get more used to it. And like, and I'm not saying it's bad. You guys, it's actually really good. But my, my fear for kids, because I think adults could enjoy this, especially if you like more of a dark chocolate taste. My fear is with kids having this, 
if they don't like that flavor, they might not like it at first, but I feel like they eventually they get kind of used to it because your taste buds do change like constantly. I think it also depends what type of milk you use because I did use unsweetened milkadamia. I feel like if I would have used sweetened, this would be a lot sweeter and then I think kids would love it. Because I think all that it's missing that kids are like obsessed with is sugar. <laughs> and I think that definitely helps with the dark chocolate. I really like this. As an adult who is used to the dark chocolate taste and like it really does grow on you as you continue to eat it. Like I'm actually really, really enjoying this. I feel like I would like some of their fruity flavors as well. If you have a kid who doesn't really like dark chocolate and you want them to have a healthier cereal, I would say just do this with a sweetened milk and that will probably help out a lot. Because I did, I used unsweetened milkadamia. And so I feel like if I would have used sweetened, which is what my husband recommended, <laughs> should have done that, it would be exactly what kids would love. Because like overall the taste is really, really good. I like how crunchy it is. So you know, if I was smart, I would have used half in this milk and half in the sweetened milk. Should have thought of that beforehand. <laughs> Ta-da! Okay, overall, you guys, as an adult, I really enjoyed that. I feel like I would also love a lot of their other flavors that they have as well. In fact, that might be a cereal that we pick up from now on if we can find it in stores near us. Because I'm sure my husband would actually, that'd probably be an amazing cereal for him. I'm so sad that I couldn't like share that with him, but there's no way I could save cereal that's in milk and I didn't, I didn't think to save any in here. So that's fine because I, I honestly, like I really like it and that might be the cereal that we get from now on because I love the fact that they use beans. I think that's like really, 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 really cool. The only thing is if you have a diabetic kid, I mean, you have to weigh if 19 grams of carbs is, is gonna be a good amount for your kid to use up for breakfast. That's something for you to decide. So yeah, you guys, I think this is definitely worth trying. I really liked the cereal um, as an adult. Again, if you're trying it with your kid, I might do a sweetened uh, milk just to help out with the dark chocolate taste. If your kid loves dark chocolate, this would be perfect. Cause I know some of my friends who love dark chocolate as children. Like I think Lowell might've even been one of those people who liked dark chocolate as a child. So um, I think this is gonna be perfect for him. I think it's gonna be everything he wants. And this doesn't have to be just for kids. It can be for adults too. In fact, we'll probably use it. And I'm hoping, I think I've seen this at some of my local stores, so I should be able to get some of it and then have my husband try it out since I didn't save any for him. But you guys, I think that was really, really good. I honestly, I'm gonna get that cereal from now on. Cause we've been playing with a lot of different cereals, trying to find one that's vegan that I'll like. And generally speaking, I like fruitier cereals. That's kind of what I go for. I don't really go for as much of the chocolatey or just the grain ones. I, I like fruity things, whether that means I'm adding real fruit into it or you know, there's fake fruit flavors in it. You know, either one is something that I go for. And we've tried a few vegan cereals that I found at different locations and I haven't like fallen in love with any of them yet. They all have like, weird taste to them or they're just like too dry or they're too crunchy to the point where they're hurting my teeth. So like this has been the first one that like it's a nice crunch level and also like has a good taste to it. So I'd be generally really, really interested in trying some of their fruity cereal just because that's the kind that I really go for. But I feel like Lowell, this would be the one that he'd go for because he loves chocolate. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you think about the Love Grown uh, Comet Krispies chocolate cereal. Do you think this would be something that you would enjoy, your child would enjoy, your friend would enjoy, anybody would enjoy? Let me know in the comments below. Other than that, if you are new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Bye.